you are home, ENFP, did the rise of dawn finally convince you of the futility of your efforts to put up all the city's homeless in shelters for the night? Oh I and TJ I told you, I don't want anything to do with shelters anymore because we shouldn't shut up people in cages like they are dogs or something. And I'm not even sure animals belong in shelters, you know, now that I've been talking with Simon, the unemployed former zookeeper who I picked up near Maple Avenue. He says that he couldn't participate in incarceration on the basis of species any longer. I see. And where is Simon now? Oh, hanging out in my van. Your van? Please clarify. Oh yeah, I got a van because you said you didn't want me driving your Beamer in undesirable areas anymore. It would be such a shame if you got abducted and I couldn't get my car back. That was supposed to be a joke. I can never tell with you. Yes. Well, you forced me to make some suppositions as well. I assume this Simon actually exists, unlike that Jamaican fellow you were telling me about last week. Delroy is a true free-spirited Rastafarian. When the winds of his island home call, he listens. I can't help it if that doesn't jive with your 9 to 5 prison. I actually work about 9 to 9 most days. I'd think that's plenty of time for you to go off and save the world and still prepare for the homecoming of your hard-working man. I know you wanted us to be together tonight and I'm sorry I kept you waiting. But if you are going to be such a chauvinist I think I'll fly down to Jamaica and spend the night with Delroy instead. Oh come now. Surely a guy can still dream of the days before open relationships and microwave TV dinners. Look, Delroy and I are just friends. I am still not convinced he exists. Besides, the nice thing about being your sugar daddy is that I'm the only one that can spirit you off to Jamaica in the middle of the night. Once my album goes platinum I'm buying out all your factories and shutting them down. I do wish you would follow my business more closely. I've drawn down my manufacturing holdings and invested significantly in green energy. That's bull. I read your portfolio last night. You dumped those when your friends in DC said they were pulling the plug on the funding. You read my portfolio? I had Vladimir my Russian friend with mad lead hacker skills check it out for me. Memo to self, file lawsuit first thing tomorrow morning. You are lying, sexist imperialist pig. Oh hush hush. I'll donate a few million dollars to feminist causes and we'll make nice. Have I ever told you you are so sexy when you're indignant at my socially callous behavior? I hate you too, you sexy monster of a man. I can't wait for when we will both regret this in the morning.